Namrata Gulati Sapra, Deputy Editor at Saur Energy International and this is day two of InterSolar. With us is Mr. Ankit Tundare. He is the Distribution Sales Director at ECE India. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you ma'am, thank you. So tell us about ECE India, its current capacity and expansion plans. Uh, ECE India right now is uh, located in the center of India in Amravati, Maharashtra. And uh, current capacity of EC India is of 100 uh, megawatt. In, uh, in the month of uh, May, April or May, we will be expanding our capacity to 350 watt. And so, so in all, we will be around 500 in the month of April. And uh, how, how do you plan to make a place in the market? What are your uh, strategies? You know, how will you sustain in the market and continue your trajectory of growth? Uh, absolutely. Uh, look, EC India uh, uh, was established uh, in uh, 2009 uh, when initially we were majorly in uh, road safety product like uh, traffic signals and blinkers. Uh, all were the innovated and patented product what we have and uh, it was enlisted in all MNCs and uh, road construction companies initially. After slowly we move on to solar and after doing huge huge quantum of epcs per year and then we decided to move in manufacturing so in 2018 we started our manufacturing plant of 100 megawatt and uh, from past uh, one year we are much more engaged in establishing our channel partners across india uh, currently uh, we have 45 channel partner in place in uh, part of vidarbha maharashtra some part of mp and chatisgarh and uh, this time our motive uh, to participate in this intersolar is to have our own channel partner in Gujarat also. Uh, we already have appointed a distributor in Ahmedabad and uh, looking a few more distributors and uh, under them distributor we, would, uh, we are going to have our channel partners with them. So this is how we are uh, going to cover the market. And uh, what is uh, your sales breakup? I'm, I'm sure you have uh, the most dominance in Maharashtra. So tell us about your sales breakup. Uh, absolutely, we are Maharashtrian people, Sana, so uh, we have more, much more influence in Maharashtra. Uh, uh, basically, this time we are targeting almost uh, almost 26 megawatt of uh, module sales, module supply in Maharashtra only. So, uh, at the end of the day, I can 100% uh, assure my all stakeholders and my investors that we will be the major shareholder in Maharashtra subsidy. Uh, what, whatever is going on and uh, similarly all uh, sales team are putting efforts to be the you know contributor in uh, residential project of Gujarat and MP also you know? so uh, definitely uh, in Maharashtra we are uh, we are doing good you know? and uh, all our plans is to make company more uh, visible in Gujarat and MP and Chhattisgarh this part of India also so you said that uh, you also plan to move to residential now so tell us about that uh, actually we were already in residential you know, uh, EC India's uh, soul is EPC you know, we were uh, majorly an EPC company uh, in, the in the beginning part of our uh, career and slowly slowly we move on to being a manufacturer so right now currently in Maharashtra we are we have immense amount of quantum uh, residential projects in our basket you know. And uh, on a similar uh, theme, on similar flavor, you know, we have uh, launched our channel partner program. So in Gujarat also now we are looking for some channel partners and uh, by the help of that, those channel partners, uh, we will be doing uh, residential uh, projects in Gujarat and MP. So you mentioned that you were founded in year 2009. So uh, in so many years that have passed, what, how do you think the growth of residential has been and even the EPC sector for that matter? Absolutely. Uh, look, uh, we have started in 2009, right? but uh, in 2009 the solar industry was not that that mature. And even though it's right now currently is also it's growing. Right? Uh, in 2009 it was very challenging for us to convince our customer to go on solar to go on renewable uh, energy because uh, all, uh, all 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 fossil fuel energy was on its peak and it's, it was much cheaper. So uh, and and. No doubt the technology, solar technology was not in that developed stage you know, in 2009. So it was very difficult for us to you know, inculcate a solar energy in, in our customer at that time. But, uh, but uh, so gradually, gradually things have been changed. 
government policies have also uh, encouraged uh, the end customer to go for solar. Right now, like like you know, Gujarat is the, one of the best example to uh, uh, put in, across. Right? Uh, 600 megawatt two times and one gigawatt this time. It itself says a lot of thing. Right? And uh, no doubt Maharashtra MP they are also moving on the same direction. Right? right now we are also in Maharashtra also having 550 megawatt of uh, this thing. MP is also having uh, same amount of uh, residential domestic projects. So right? uh, no doubt. Things are much, much, much more easier right now as compared to uh, the initial days what we have done. So Gujarat, obviously, you know, it's a it's a very ambitious state, and you know, uh, various programs and schemes have been are being launched uh, in in the state, and no wonder you're also looking to you know establish your presence here. Uh, so so tell us, you know, uh, when we talk about government plans, uh, which government plans and schemes have you taken advantage of? Say, how has ALMM helped you? Uh, ALM is the most uh, important and remarkable decision what my government has taken for uh, domestic manufacture in India. You know, uh, after the strict implementation of ALM from 1st of October, it was, uh, you know, a breath of relief for all of us, you know, for all uh, domestic manufacturer because, you know, uh, import of big modules was at its peak uh, in past six months, if you see all the figures. Right? So that was really very, uh, you know, impacting hard to us. Yeah. So uh, I, I really thank to government uh, and all the policy makers in the government that they have come across with the uh, ALM list strictly uh, and uh, that has definitely provided us much a level of relief uh, for domestic manufacture. Yeah. And also, you know, the price of solar modules, it has, uh, it, it's, it's constantly been rising. So, how does that uh, affect uh, the domestic um, industry? Uh, absolutely. Uh, look, I remember in the December 20, 2020, you know, the approximate cost of module was around 15 rupees, 16 rupees uh, per watt. Anna. And all of a sudden, after complete one, one and a half year, Anna, it has gone to 25, 26 rupees. Anna. So it was a huge, huge, tremendous growth in the, the increase of price according to dollar. And, and you also see the fluctuation in dollar. It is also very, you know, uh, random. You, know, you can't, you are not able to uh, predict the things. Anna. So here at this point of moment, by the help of your platform, I want to... Uh, convey a message to all EPCs and integrated players. Please, please ask your vendor about the uh, price, the future price when they are actually going to procure the things. Anna, because while participating in any tender, anna, everybody want to be a L1 to have a quantum or to to be the part of the tender. So each and everybody uh, do the calculation of the current prices. Anna. So I request all of them ki please don't do that. Just give a call to your vendor, to all your inverter supplier, module supplier, MMS supplier, right? and ask them, uh, today I am uh, going to bid this timber, what, tell me what will be the approximate of prediction after two months or after three months, whenever I am going to procure the things actually. Right? So, uh, I, you know, uh, uh, this is a great platform, right? you have an immense amount of uh, followers and subscribers, so please, I request all of you to to please have a sincere talk with your vendor before uh, filling any tender. Right. Right. And uh, also uh, tell us, uh, do you think that is it a problem that everybody, you know, there's this f focus in the bidding sector that there's the, you, everybody is bidding too low. Do you think that is a problem? Absolutely. That, uh, just now I've mentioned that thing. Everybody is in, in the race to have work in his basket. Right? Yeah. But, 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 but we need to take care at what cost we are taking the project. Right? Yeah. Is it is it really feasible to work on those prices? Yeah. Or otherwise, it's it's better to sit, and sit to have a peace of mind and think on it. Whether I should I or my company is able to deliver on this this, this benchmark cost or not. So we need to have a very caution to all the bidders, and before bidding any tender. How do you see the domestic industry uh, growing going forward, and uh, you know the uh, the price, uh, you know uh, the trends in term in the industry? How do you see them? Uh, absolutely. Look, uh, uh, domestic industry is uh, no doubt is going to be uh, you know at its peak in coming few years because there has already been a wave of technology change, you know? 
every manual manufacturer is uh, converting his line to multi bb you know uh, all, all all are enhancing their capacity to uh, 100 to 250 gigabytes and uh, you know so you know uh, domestic market is also going to be uh, boom in near future everybody has to uh, you know tight your shoes you know everybody has to run and uh, everybody has to increase their capacity because there is immense amount of potential in india in solar yeah. thank you so much for joining thank you